right, friends, we're back. We're talking about exam two review. We're on the last problem, problem number five, and it looks to me like we got ourselves a little old frame problem here, okay? The goal is to find all the forces acting on member D, A, B, C. So I have this kind of dog leg here. There's another one here, okay? And then there's a member here. So always on frame problem, the first thing you should do is you should look for some two force members. Do you see any here? What? For the hundredth time, what's a two-force member? Pin connected at both ends, no forces in the middle. I don't have one here, okay? So the first step to do here is find global equilibrium. All right, so what do I have? I have a roller, so the only way a roller can work is I have one of these, so I have an H, Y, okay? And then this whole system is wanting to rotate that way, and so I think the ground is having to pull downwards. G, Y. Besides that, the up stuff has to equal the down stuff, right? And then all those forces are going that way, so G, X, I think, has to go this way. Now, I already know G, X, because it's the only force in the X direction. It has to equal those two guys, so that's 18 kilonewtons, okay? So how do I find G, Y, and H, Y? I think we need to take a moment, okay? Let's take a global moment. Almost wrote global moment, okay? Global equilibrium, okay, here we go. Some of the moments at G. Okay, what do we have? We take the moment at G, okay? We've got HY, which rotates as positive. HY times 0.6 away. Right? And then I've got these two guys that rotate me negative, so minus 6 times 0.5 minus 12 times 1. Okay? So let's see what that is. Clear. On. Um, 6 times 0.5 is 3, and then 12 is 15, divided by 0 0.6, 25. So HY. 25 kilonewtons. And guess what? If HY is 25, then GY is 25 kilonewtons, okay? Okay, next step, take it apart, right? Break it into pieces. All right, here we go. Let's erase our global equilibrium. Give us some room here. We're going to need lots of room. Okay, here's piece number one. Piece number two. Okay, this one has one, two, three, four. This one has one, two, three. Okay, and there's one more piece here. Which is this one, and then remember, if we have a pulley or a wheel, just leave it on there, right? Just leave it on there. Okay, and this one has uh, one here and one there. All right. Okay, it's up to you now to put some arrows on this. So put some arrows on it, push pause, and come back and see if you get the same thing I did. Ready? Go. All right, are you back? Here we go. Let's go. Let's put the, put the red stuff on here that we already know, okay? So over here, I have a 25 kilonewton. And over here, I have a 25 kilonewton. Over here, I have 6 kilonewtons. And over here, I have 12 kilonewtons, okay? Uh, then what else do I have over here? Well, I have point E here, which is a pin connection. Uh, uh, E, Y, E, X. Up here I have B, Y, B, X. I drew that, I put an arrow in there, but I shouldn't have, because I don't know which way it goes yet. Um, and then on this one, right, there's E, this is point E. 
So it has an EX and an EY. And then at the corner, that's D. DX, DY. Okay, same thing. D, uh, Y, DX. And then B. Um, and then anything else? I don't think so. Uh, how about arrows? Do we know which way they go? Okay. Um, if I take the moment here, did I forget something? Ah, I did forget something. I forgot that 18 kilonewtons right there, didn't I? Whew. Now, how did I know I forgot something? When I took the moment there, I knocked out the 25, I knocked out that and that, and all I had was this, which left me an unbalanced moment, and I was like, uh, something's not right. So the 18 rotates me clock, so the EY has to rotate me counterclock. So this one goes up, which means this one goes down, okay? That's one thing that I know for sure. Um, I don't know that I can get anything else, right? Um, if I take the moment at B, okay, then this guy over here rotates me clockwise, so EX needs to rotate me counterclockwise, so I know that, which not, then I know that, okay, which means EX has to go this way over here, BX has to go that way over there, uh, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess BY down, and I'm going to guess BY up. Does it matter? No, I'll just get a negative. So maybe I guessed right, maybe I didn't. I don't know. So the only thing left is DX and DY. Ah, to the, to the left, to the left, to the right. To the up, uh, to the up, to the down. And then this one has to be the opposite. <laughs> okay, we'll see how good we guessed. Okay, so there's our free bodies. Did you get the exact same thing as me? If you did, pat yourself on the back. Okay, so here is free body number one. Here's free body number two. And free body number three. Okay, so if I have those free bodies, um, where are you going to start? With one, two, or three? Well, one, no, that's no, no. Number two, well, I could take the moment at D, and I would I could find EY, right? Or over here, I could take the moment at E, and I could find BX. Let's, let's do that. Sum of the moments at E. All right, and what do I have? So all this is knocked out. I have 25, which rotates me negative. So minus 25 times, how far away is that? Um, point 0.2, right? And then I have BX, which rotates me positive, times, okay, from E up to here is point 0.5. All right. So, clear. 25, whoa, this is not how you sell. 25 times point 0.2, and then divided by, 0.5 is 10. So BX, 10 kilonewtons, right? So this guy is 10 kilonewtons, which means that this one is 10 kilonewtons, okay? Oh, look at this. If BX is, goes that way, EX goes that way, it has to be 10 kilonewtons, okay? There's another thing we found. So that guy has to be 10 kilonewtons, okay. Um, oh, do we know dx? We know dx, don't we? Because, um, let's see, 6 that way and 10 that way means dx has to be 4 going that way. And we should get the same thing up here, but, oh wait, I forgot the 18. You can't forget the 18. Okay. The 18 makes it, uh, he has to be bigger than that, doesn't he? Sorry. How about, I'm just messing this up. Some of the forces in the X is going to be what? DX. 
um, plus 6 minus 18 minus 10. So 28 uh, minus 6 is 22. So dx has to be 22 kilonewtons. What is it up here? I got 10 going that way. I got 12 going that way. Guess what? That's 22, isn't it? I get the same thing on either free body. So it doesn't matter which one you use. Okay? The only thing we're missing is dy. So can I get dy? I think I can get dy if I just take the moment at d here. I'm going to get ey, right? So let's do that. Summing the moment at d. And I get ey rotating me positive times... Um, 0.6 plus 0.2, that's 0.8. And then who else? You're knocked out. You're knocked out. You're knocked out. 18 rotates me negative, minus 18 times um, that distance there is 0.5. So 18 times 0.5 is 9. 9 divided by 0.8 is 11.25 kilonewtons. So there's the other EY right there. Ooh, which tells me that BY up there, right? BY plus EY have to equal 25. So 25 minus answer is 13.75. So BY has to be 13.75, you are 13.75 kilonewtons, and so guess what? Then dy, has up stuff has to equal the down stuff, you have to be 13.75 kilonewtons. All right, so it's not too hard, well I'll tell you, it's not hard at all if you can draw good free body diagrams. If you can't draw good free body diagrams, you are toast, man. I hope that's not the case. All right, my friends, on with the course. Let's go.